Um, all right, so I am going to step out of the room. Jill is going to pick a colored Glen Cairn, use the gold one, because, you know, top of the tops. Use or the use gold. a different one. Okay. And then Jill's going to pick any bottle. I'm going to widen it out. You mean widen it out so they can see? Sure. All right, I'm going to widen it out so y'all can see. Jill's going to pick any bottle out here or back there, although you can't take them with you. Yeah, I'll just do it out here. Okay. And so they they can tell I am not cheating. I'm going to go back there. Where? In, in the, the In the door. I'm going to oh, go okay. in the closet. Go in the door. So I, there's no way I can see. And I'll leave. Actually, do you want me to take them back there with me and show them what we got sure. going on? Sure. I can that take y'all back there. That way none of y'all know what I'm picking. <laughs> that wouldn't be fun. They, no. want, they should they know. They want to know. They should know. We'll take them back there later and give them a tour. All right. Get, get behind that closet door. All right, now I have no clue. I haven't even really thought about this. Hmm. Let's see. What do y'all think I should do? Y'all give me some clues in the chat, okay? All Just, right, now. What? You behave in there. I'm Let behaving. me see. Y'all hmm, can hear me. Hmm, 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 hmm. Kind of whisper so Jill can't hear me. Um. Need to, like, make her color coded or something. Like, this is so hard with these mini bottles. Like, like, what in the you world? Gotta make me look good. This is really not fair. Honestly. It's really fair. Like, what do I do? What do I pick? What do I pick? What do I pick? What do I pick? Um. Y'all make it easy. Pick something easy. Should I? Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, pick yeah, that let's one. do that one. Do that one. Okay. That one easy? Yeah, hold on a second. Y'all spell it out. I got to move stuff around. I need a ladder. Do I want to go like cray or like do I really want to like, I don't know. I, I hope she knows I can hear her. She better not say it. I thought I knew which one I wanted to go with. But now I'm not sure. Dang. Let's see. Any suggestions? Get her to try Garrison Brothers or something. I guess that. All right. Tell her to go with the Garrison Brothers. I think I know what I'm going to do. Oh, my goodness. Mm. Man, got a 13 Colonies barrel pick back here. It looks pretty tasty. I wish I had a glass. Can't All right. This come. is it. This is the one we're choosing. And now I got to get the gold Glen Karen. All right. I can't tell. I think that's pretty good. <laughs> he can hear me, so don't say it. Yep. He's Who's sneaky. He's sneaky like Which that. Which one of y'all is telling on me? He's a very sneaky oh, man. Mercy. I can't trust y'all for nothing. Who's taking me all on? Very sneaky. Whose team are y'all on? Okay. All right, Thomas. We'll let you come back out now. <sighs> <laughs> I feel like they're on your team. They Jill. are on my team. I have all my peoples, and they're on my team. Hand me a Dr. Pepper. I should have brought some water, really, if I want to give this a fair try. Uh, you're never prepared. You're never prepared. I have to be prepared for you. Uh, Don't bring waters down. You didn't bring any Dr. Peppers down. Goodness. You ready? Are you ready for mm -hmm. it? Boom, boom. That's just some Taylor Swift for you. Here's what I know. It's not the top shelf. Okay. It's not George Dickel. No, Desert Pine, I don't have any Fiji water right now. I need to I need to up my water game. I've just been buying the Deer Park. It's cheaper than Fiji. That's finished. Everything's too expensive. Even water. That's finished whiskey right there for sure. Finished whiskey. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what 
Your stomach's making all sorts of weird noises, too. It is. It's probably because I ate my chili tonight. I've been waiting on chili for months, and I finally made some tonight. Finally made chili, and it was so good. Oh, my goodness. I've stumped you already, I can tell. It feels like it's finished. He it feels like the stumped. finish is subtle. It is a subtly finished whiskey. It's got some proof to it. You didn't change your hat. They're right. Well, I the have no hats back there in the closet, okay? <laughs> no hats in the closet. Okay, so I'm ruling Coin out everything one over there. It's brown. <laughs> I don't think it's anything over there. I can already tell he's stumped. He's not getting this one. I should have really wagered some trip or something on this one. Should have did a Disney trip. It's the bottle with the cork, says Smokey. Which bottle? With which cork? Uh, it's just the bottle with... Oh, yeah. He... he are we doing two guesses or three guesses? I don't know. We have 1,147 people watching. We set the record. <laughs> what is it? Aaron Lazelle said, I think that's how. Jill, let's not tailor and say we did. Let's not tailor and say we did. You gave me kind of a light pour, too. I did not. I gave you a good pour. <laughs> oh, 1161 now. We're, we're on a roll. Damn, can we break 1200? See, the more I drink it, the more what I thought was finished lightens up, and it makes it even less like a finished whiskey. I don't know. I don't know. Why are we getting all these commercials on here tonight? I, YouTube has changed something, obviously, because I have not we'll, run a single yeah, commercial. Yeah, we'll figure it out. We have not run a single we freaking commercial. We may not can stop it, though. I don't really know. Well, depending on how much they pay me, I may not want to stop it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just being honest with you. Um, I don't know what I've got that that could be. Is it good? It's, it's, it's pretty good. It's pretty good? Yeah. Would you want another bottle of that? It's not the Dickel, Jill. I'm just asking you, would you want another bottle of that? That's all. Mm -hmm. Don't get all defensive over there. I'm just saying, would you want another bottle of that? It's, that's a decent whiskey, yes. Okay. Decent. It's, it's pretty good whiskey. Okay. I wish I had more of it. That pour was kind of light, so I'm having a hard time nailing down what it is. It was not light. It was all the way up here. That was a light pour. That was not light. That was a light pour. You got me pretty stumped on this yes. one. Yeah, you got me pretty stumped on this one. I'm not sure what that I is. I have him stumped. Well, you get two <laughs> That's something guesses. I haven't drank in a while. Or We'll give you two guesses. Okay. What's your first guess? I'm going to go with that Fiddler Georgia Hartwood over there because somebody mentioned it earlier. Fiddler Georgia Hartwood. I don't think, I think it had a stronger finish on it, though. Nope. Like, I don't think that's it. That's not it. Someone says, ask you what state it's from. Like, that finish could be rye. Could just be rye. I don't know. I, I like it. I like that bottle. Whatever like that, that bottle is, I like that bottle. But I, I don't know. You got me. 100% I lost. One more guess. One more guess. Um... Crittenden's four grain. No. Did figure. No. It's, I have no idea. It's the Redwood Empire. Oh, the Grizzly Beast. Yeah. Is that not, that's not finished, though. I don't like know. Like, it had, like, a soft toastiness to it. That's it. 
So you hid it. I never would have. No, uh, that bottle was already in front no, of it. I put it back. It's been exactly a, the way so I found said, it. This is the most I've ever had of this I bottle. I did not hide it. And Y'all I, saw me. I did not hide it. That bottle was in front of it, and I just put it back so you wouldn't have noticed that I moved it. So this one sample, like, we just poured this much. So I'd only had one pour out of this bottle many, many months uh. ago. And so I had not had a lot of this, but I like it. I like it. Y'all got me. Gotcha. Got me. It's not finished. It's just that good. But it... It has a little bit of a toasty note to it. It was aged for five years. Like, it's not strong. It's subtle. I'm trying to pick up subtle notes, and it's got a little bit of a subtle, toasty note to it. But it's good. This is a uh, lost. This, this is, is the California. This is the Grizzly Beast. Yeah. If you like this, did you try this? I didn't try it. Try no. it. That's really good. The pipe dream they just sent us cast strength is out of this world. Like, really good. That smells really good. Yeah. So this was like aged in like California. Yeah. So I reached out. To, well, I think they're, I think they're sourcing some of their whiskey, and now they're distilling their own. Uh, I reached out this to do a barrel pick. Distilled and, grain to glass in Sonoma County, California. There you go. That's so cool. I think they've swapped to that. Their barrel pick program should be available later next year, and we should be able to do a barrel pick with them at that point. What batch is this? Batch two. Batch two right there. Grizzly I Beast really cash like drink. That. It's really good. I like the pipe that. dream is even better. The cash drink pipe dream is really even better. Well, that was really good. That's solid. You did a good job, but you you feel how it's like got a little toastiness yeah. to it? Like there's a little flavor there. I was like, that's a toasted, but it's so subtle I couldn't place. It. I'm going through everything. That's why I looked at like I think that Shanks or Bomb Burgers is toasted. But I was like, it's not that. I'm going to try my wine now. Now, this right. is a Shiraz in a Scotch whiskey barrel. It smells really good. It's very sweet. It smells very sweet. Very sugary. Well, I like that. It's not as sweet as it smells of. It's a little dry, actually. I like this. See, I think you would like wine in a Scotch barrel. I tried that one. I think I opened that bottle. So I tried it. It was all right. It was better than the bourbon age one you've got. But like a Scotch barrel is just a bourbon barrel they had Scotch in. It's really, it's kind of salty. Okay, let me try it. I don't know why, but it's kind of salty. Jerron Walling almost hit 500K subs. Yes, we need, what, seven or 8,000 more should be wow. probably next week sometime. So if you're not subbed... What are you doing? Like, hit the button. Come it's on. It's not that hard. It doesn't cost anything. It's pretty good. That's decent. Yeah. That's decent. But we'll start with this fun. blue run. This one is high rye bourbon whiskey at what looks to be 111 proof. And from Georgetown, Kentucky... 65% corn, 30% rye, 5% malted barley. Hand bottled in Bardstown. Blue Run, high rye. You regret buying your Blue Run for, yeah, lots of dollars. <laughs> lots of dollars. This is that one's good. It's just a good high rye bourbon, though. Like, it's not, there's a lot of good high rye bourbons, and that's one of them. There's nothing. I need to try some of their non-high rise stuff. But it's it's just a pretty good high rye bourbon. I don't like it as much as I like that Crittenton's four grain. Um, it's good. I don't know if that's their best release. I, I haven't had a ton of stuff from. I mean, it's kind of the problem. It's kind of pricey, and I hear other folks like the Bourbon Junkies love Blue Run. And I just haven't had those blue runs that just get me hooked. Um, someone wants to talk about the Emerald Rye. Have you ever had that one? I have not. You talking about a blue run, Emerald yeah, Rye? No, know. this is just Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey High Rye. And it's good. There's nothing wrong. Like, it's as good or better than any of those craft whiskeys we had earlier, right? That I said good things about. But this is an expensive bottle of whiskey. It's better than those, 
but I'm expecting more out of it. And it's just not, this is not a really expensive bottle of whiskey to me. <clears throat> so it's good though. That's a good bottle of whiskey. So let's look at this old Carter. This is number one dash New York, New Jersey. It is a hundred, it's bottle number 108. It is 116.2 proof. So number one dash New York, New Jersey. Now I had a friend bring over their Georgia release. I got this one last year. They brought their Georgia release at the same time. This one was really good. The Georgia release was better. Ooh, that's delicious. That's a good, that's a good pour. It's an expensive bottle, but every old Carter I've had has been fantastic. Is that regular TX or blended? Uh, this is TX Texas Straight Bourbon Whiskey. So not blended, regular. I mean, I'm assuming it's a blend. Oh. If you want to try to read that crap on the back, I can't. Born from pure passion and patience, we are extremely proud to share our distinctly Texas Straight Bourbon with you. Using locally farmed corn and wheat and a one-of-a-kind yeast, we captured and skillfully cultivated. The provenance of this bourbon whiskey is its reward. Uh, that's okay. That's okay. Um, it's like Texas whiskey is hard to get right. That's starting to have like a little too much. The problem is, is the flavors are something that are, they're good. The flavors are good. And I want more age, but it's already starting to develop a little bit of kind of those harsh tannins you get from Texas whiskey. So the, the age I want to develop the complexity is just going to be overpowered by the tannins and you're just going to end up with Garrison Brothers. That's my problem with that. Didn't expect the TX. It's not slander. Like it's good whiskey. It's just... I want a little more age on it. It's good. That's good. That's better than almost anything we had from Colorado. Right? So it's good, but it's starting to develop a little of those tannins, that tanniny Texas whiskey you get. And it could just that be that bottle. That, that, that it? was it. That's the old Carter. Oh, okay. That's the old Carter. So that's a good whiskey. Um, I just, uh, y'all were asking my opinion, so I, I gave it. Sorry. <laughs> I wasn't trying to down Texas whiskey. I think it's a good whiskey. I just want more age, but I'm also scared of more age on a Texas whiskey. So it, it's, I'm, I'm in a weird place that I want it to be older, but I'm also scared of it being older. Yeah, that's the problem with Texas whiskeys. I don't know what this costs. I've had this bottle for a long time and you've seen how much I've drank of it. Um, but like Garrison Brothers, you're not mixing that, not at that price. Jill, I want you to try, I tell you what I'm gonna, I'm gonna blind you a double oaked Crittentons and a toasted pecan Crittentons and you are going to tell me your thoughts on both of them. Okie dokie. You, you're down with that? Uh, yes, but that's it after that. I'm that, is, that is it. So do me a favor and just clear these bottles out of the way. Get me two colored Glen Cairns. Or do you want, I mean, you could do it to me, but I think I'd be able to tell them apart. Okie dokie. I'll just tell you which one I like the best. How about that? That's fine. Well, I mean, I said I found the toasted pecan. But, oh, no, there it is right there. Mississippi toasted pecan. Toasted pecan. All right, I'll do the green glass, because that's my favorite. And we'll just do these. Okay. All right, so I gotta. What do I gotta do? Leave? Ah, just turn your head. Just it's okay. Around. Just okay. turn your head. Just face the other way, Jill. Put myself um, in timeout. So I um I want to do they. I know they did a bunch of this toasted pecan like a second batch. I don't know if any of the sippers. I don't know Justin if you're still in here, but I need one of these. I need one of these toasted pecan barrels for sure. I need to bring this to the people. So to the people. To the people. How many purple tops do you have? All of them. Goodness. Four. All right. Try those. Well, Tell that me one's your also thoughts on. Also, a purple top. That's the weeded purple top. Yes. Okay. 
All right, right Joe, you ready? You can turn Wait. back around and show everybody your pretty face. Okay. All right. I have not had piggyback bourbon yet. <clears throat> so this is this was finished with pecan staves, one of them. The other one is just double oaked. I think you just put it in a fresh barrel. I found this one, when I was cleaning up this weekend, I found this bottle, I had to try it. And it was surprisingly good. Pecan, it's, it's a pecan, pecan. I'm sorry. It's a pecan. In Mississippi, these are toasted pecans. Toasted these pecan. are right here, this is a <clears throat> Mississippi toasted pecan. <laughs> Which one, what do you think about this one? Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and say this one is the pecan. Okay. It tastes a lot like the syrupy part of a pecan pie. Do you like it though? Yes. Okay. It's my favorite. This is your favorite. Yeah. You like pecan. Apparently. Is that not the pecan? I didn't see anything. Okay. Well, that's my favorite. This one I like too. I like it. But there's just something. I don't know. I'm liking the sweetness in this one. Okay. This one's definitely more sweeter. Gotcha. So I'm thinking it's the toasted pecan. Okay. Maybe. Have me one of those Dr. Peppers. But this one's good, too. Yeah. Enjoy the show. Always great. Thank you, Seth. I'm going with this one. What is this one? Although this one's really good. Too, but Somebody gonna have to remember. They're gonna have to rewind the tape. I don't even remember. I'm pretty sure this is the toasted pecan. Now look, you cannot be no, like I. It's the toasted pecan. I do my job when it comes to the blinds. I do my job. I take a picture of it. I write it down. It's it is the toasted pecan. Okay, but you can't just be like, oh, I don't remember. I was talking. Are you okay? I was well. talking. Alabama anyway, style is good. Anybody can tell me what was in the black Glen Karen here because he doesn't know. Spillway does have a Detling pick. I'm going to get one of those bottles to try for sure. Um, and they do pick good barrels. Okay, I'm just going to put this out here. What, what are you putting out? This is like one of my favorite. You keep pimping that four grain. Everybody's going to be mad. They can't get it. Like that's one on one barrel. <sighs> it was an experiment he did five okay. years ago. But this really makes me want a Jill's pick from Crittenton's because I didn't get to go on this pick. I had nothing to do with this, and it makes me very sad that I had nothing to do with this pick. Thomas. <laughs> um, so he is reaching out. He, we, he just reached out last week. I've introduced him to the folks in Texas. He's trying to get distribution in Texas so that we can do more picks with our Texas retailers that we're working with right now. Once he does that, you go down to Crittenton's, you pick anything you want. Because, like, literally, he does this all by himself, right? Like, he's one guy. I mean, he's got a few folks well, that do yes, some but things, like but he, he, he runs that whole distillery and does all the distillation. That's amazing. Himself. 